Okay, for number seven, let's say you have looked at the graph, you knew that the vertex was positive two, positive six. You were able to graph that part. You looked at the inequality. You could see that it was a dotted line. You got here, but you're confused about the shading because shading on a V-shaped graph is not the same as a line, and you just want some help with that. So if I wanted to plug in a point that's a little bit easier to plug in, um, I can pick any point I want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in 1, 1, just because that seems like it's pretty easy and the numbers are small. So 1 for x, 1 for y. So I got 1 is greater than the absolute value of 1 minus 2 plus 6. Uh, the absolute value of 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so the absolute value of negative 1. So absolute value literally means like how far away is that number from zero? So negative one, the distance from negative one to zero is a distance of one. Or if you guys go back to like when you first learned about absolute value, your teacher probably said, just take the number, make it positive. So take a negative one, make it positive, plus six. And one plus six is seven. Is it true? that one is bigger than seven. <clears throat> no, that's not true, <laughs> that's false. And so the point is false. And so if the outside of the V is false, that means the inside of the V has to be true. And so you would be shading right in here.